thanks for checking out my Opus clip review. Here I'm going to be giving you a demo of this software as well as answering the two most popular questions. Is Opus clip good and even worth using? If you would like to test them out and find out yourself, you can click the link in the description or pinned comment to follow along. Let's dive right in. So here's going to be the Opus clip dashboard. Very easy to use. Simply drop a link in here, most likely from YouTube. That's a popular one. Click on get clips in one click and you're going to be good to go. Now, one of the biggest things here in terms of upgrades as I did review this not too long ago is going to be their video editor. It is nice and polished. We will walk through that. You can enhance speech. There's going to be AI reframe. So AI can automatically reframe your content to fit any social platform, which can be very helpful. AI B-roll. And of course, if you want to add some AI hooks using a voiceover. Now, one thing I do want to say is that anytime you're going to be uploading a video, it does take some time for it to upload and render. That's why I've done a few for you already. So say you have a long form video and you want to turn it into shorts. Very easy to do add your link click on get clips in one click and on the inside they allow you to use this video as an example so i'm going to run through this one just to kind of show you how it works and we don't have to wait for it to kind of go through and do its thing so i'm just going to click on it to save some time and what's great about this as you saw i believe this was around maybe like 13 to 15 minute video and what it's going to do is take specific parts of the video and break them up into clips. Something else I really like about this is going to be the viral score rating right here. So it says the likelihood that this video will go viral on short or TikTok or reels. So as you go through, you're going to see they're going to go down slightly. And as you go down like to the end, they're probably going to be much lower. Now, the thing with this is that you can go through and a lot of the times you would most certainly agree with it and say like, yeah, this is actually a pretty solid rating. I can see why this is going to do well. Maybe it has more buds words in it. It's controversial. AI knows how to go through and kind of understand it. And I'm sure you would too. If you saw a clip and it was just people talking about, you know, broccoli and vegetables, then the other one was talking about, oh, there's going to be this new food that you want to make sure you eat because it's going to so and so. I'm not going to get into it, but one's going to be a little bit more plain, dull and boring and one's going to be shiny and new. And unfortunately, it's usually the shiny and new stuff, fortunately or unfortunately, however you look at it, it's that type of stuff that's going to get more eyeballs that's controversial. I do say unfortunately because a lot of time people will just lie to get more views, but uh, that is my little spiel behind that. So I do like the rating aspect of it. You can obviously go through and check which ones you want to utilize. Also, aside from that, there's going to be the video editing. We will get to that soon. There's going to be the ability to download it. And with one click, you can post it to your desired platform, which is going to be beneficial. There's also the ability to just download all of them. So a lot of bells and whistles, but very straightforward. I don't think you're going to get lost in here in terms of what you are looking to do or accomplish. And that's a good thing. Let's go back to the desk. Dashboard. So back in the dashboard, let's say we go to another video I had of comparing two software tools. I'm going to click on this. And once again, this is going to be an example of a few clips that were created. Now, something I do want to mention here is that Opus Clip is definitely going to be better, more specifically geared towards, in my opinion, people who do like a lot of the talking face videos where you can see their face, they're talking, maybe it's an interview style, a podcast style. Because as you can see here, if you're going to be going click by click and doing tutorials and reviews, it's going to be much more difficult to create something that really catches a lot of people's eyes. As an example, it gets so zoomed in on the middle here, you're not going to be really able to see what's going on. At least with this one, you can see it and there's going to be the top section and the bottom section. And if you actually go through this one, you can tell that it has some good copy in it and you can see the reason why it would be 99. So if I go to edit right here, so remember we talked about how it was a 99 score. If we look at what's written here, you can see that it actually sounds pretty good. If you want your website to look custom without paying a designer, like that's a hook right there. Wix has a template for that. Actually a ton of them. And it's basically the fast food version of web design. Quick, easy, and surprisingly satisfying. Okay, so aside from that, we are in the video editor. So let's check it out. We have plenty of specific little features here that you can utilize. There's gonna be AI enhance. We have captions, which are so easy to add. As you can see, some of these are gonna be very familiar with beastie all right choose a style this one looks good too if you want to use this one for think media of course you can change it around with the font as well there's going to be the colors that you can change around a lot of the things that you can kind of like nitpick with if you want to change those around but ideally you know you can just choose one if you want to have gray there i think this one looks good though or mr beast yeah something like that and if we go back to font we can make it a little bit bigger so let's say we wanted to do 
Okay, decoration, so on and so forth. I think you get the idea there. There's gonna be some transitions in case you wanna rock any of these in terms of the editing section. We have an AI hook that you can utilize as well and even B-roll, let's test this out. So for B-rolls, you can auto-generate AI B-roll or you can auto-generate stock B-roll. I'm gonna go with the stock section right here. So let's click on here. And this is something to keep in mind. A lot of the features that you're gonna be utilizing here have kind of like a buffering or a rendering time. Kind of like when it comes to the pros and cons, it is gonna be a little bit annoying, but of course AI has to do its work and it is done there. So it didn't take too long. So if I go back right here, okay. So what I'm gonna do is just, the volume is down. I just don't want it to play over me. I do wanna talk through it a little bit. So I'm gonna click on play right here. Uh, custom without a designer. <laughs> Wix has a template for that, it's funny. Someone actually like, sewing i guess you could call them a designer so that's an example of that that is going to be the b-roll so uh, that's going to be the search let's just say like website is there anything else we wanted to use maybe something like this there we go so let's go back if we wanted to change that around let's play it Okay, not too bad, something like that. So that's gonna be B-roll. There is the layout fit right here in case you do wanna change that around. Also, we have the aspect ratio. So if you wanna be more landscape, portrait, or square. And then there's gonna be a tracker. This is gonna be if you wanna focus on a specific section. So it says, select which subject or area you want the AI to track. Manual subject tracking will only apply to the selected area. So if there's a specific section you wanna highlight where it focuses on, you can do that as well. But overall, as you can see, there's gonna be the transcript. You can play around that too if you need to when it comes to highlights, adding more B-rolls, splitting and trimming it. And of course, we have the save and export section. So pretty straightforward. Their editor is nice and polished and has pretty much all of the main features that you would want to use when it comes to using Opus Clip. Plus the thing with this is that it just goes hand in hand with everything you're doing. You're gonna be taking these long form videos and turning them into viral clips, so it's gonna be certainly helpful that maybe you wanna add captions to it, transitions, or even B-rolls. Okay, let's go back. All right, so we did talk about how you can add AI captions, and if that's a main feature that you wanna utilize, you can do that as well. So we can click right here on AI captions, and let's just simply upload a video that I have. All right, and it is uploading, and it's just about done. It's a very quick one. All right, so this is gonna be the video here. I just did a very quick one. Like, so you can actually change this around if you're gonna be doing gameplay or something else. There's karaoke, there's Beastie, uh, Deep Diver. And let's see, let's go back to say this one right here. That's gonna be fine. There's also templates. We have translation and it's gonna be one credit for this specifically. Let's add captions in one click. Right now, as you can see, the ETA is gonna be five minutes. So what I'm gonna do is sit here and have you wait those five minutes and twiddle, I'm just kidding. <laughs> when it's done, I'll cut it off and get right back to you. So I'll see you in a second. All right, so it is finished kind of rendering and doing its thing. It didn't take five minutes, but just kind of going right here. Let's click on it. All right, and this is something I created very quickly just talking about Opus Clip to use as an example. So we have our rating here for virality. Hook, A minus. Wow, a lot of A minuses and I still get an 86. Brutal, it's brutal out here. So as you can see, this is gonna be the clip. Uh, the volume is down so it won't talk over me, but uh, if you're looking to create viral clips very quickly, you might wanna check out Opus Clip. Like I said, created very quickly and just to kind of showcase how that works overall. So what we can do is just pause that, talking about the pricing. And once again, it's gonna be business as usual. So as you can see, we can publish it on social, export it, download, edit it, which we just saw. There's the AI hooks. You can enhance the speech, add B-rolls and change around what it's going to be, whether it's vertical or anything different, like one to one, 16 to nine or four to five. It just depends on where you're gonna be posting and how you use it. So as you can see, a lot of these features are really gonna intertwine and overall, it is fairly straightforward to use and as I go back to the dashboard, it's really just about uploading your link or just dropping your link or uploading your video. And you can choose from any of these specifically that you want to accomplish. I think it is very straightforward. Speaking of straightforward is going to be the pricing that Opus Clip offers. So if you're going to pay monthly, you're looking at $15 a month getting started. Not too bad. Keep in mind, they do come with the ability to start them using a free trial. Or if you just want to go free forever, you can do that. They're going to be very limited. You only get 60 credits per month. And of course, some of these are obviously going to be there. Uh, it's going to have the watermark. You don't get any editing. This is just going to be like a 
watered down version where you can test it out and just to see really how it works a little bit longer than a free trial but you don't get a whole lot it's a great way to at least like test it out and see how it's going to work for you but with starter you're looking at 150 credits this doubles to 300 per month you're going to get the ai clipping with virality score like i said i really like that one it's going to point out some of the best ones that it creates uh, captions in 20 languages you can auto post the editor a brand template you can remove obviously the watermark which is great and you have the filler and silence removal now moving on up we can see as that doubled you get a few more things but you get a wide variety of features here but i think the multiple aspect ratios one is going to be very popular depending on where you're going to be posting your videos and clips and so on and so forth and if you do want to save you can pay yearly you get a whopping 50 percent off with that annual billing which is always a nice thing and with that in mind let's cap off this opus clip review so here's the deal with this I feel like Opus Clip is the Swiss army knife of video editing, except instead of opening a can of beans, it's slicing your long-winded content into short, viral-ready clips. And yeah, it's pretty darn good at it. I really dig the viral score. It's like having a hype person whispering in your ear, this video is really going to do well. And most of the time, I'm nodding in agreement like, yep, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. The video editor itself, pretty solid. You've got all the tools you need to spice things up, drop some captions, and make your videos pop harder than a Mentos in a Coke bottle. The pricing as we recently talked about, it's fair, no complaints here. Now, if you're trying to clip up a software tutorial or something super click by click, eh, don't expect miracles there. Opus Clip definitely shines brightest with talking head content. The more face, the better the grace. But still though, it does exactly what it promises. And if you're looking to save time while still looking like a content wizard, it's definitely worth checking out. And you can click the link in the description or pinned comment to try it out for free today, because hey, who doesn't love free? And that's going to conclude my Opus Clip review. It is definitely a great software and it is definitely worth using, especially if you're looking to turn those long form videos into viral clips. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.